For this video, we're going to be discussing triangle similarity postulates. So, triangles are similar to like what we did with congruence. There are several ways that we can prove that triangles are similar, and there are going to be several postulates that we're going to use. And two of them are repeats, postulates that we use for congruence, and one of them is something new. We're just going to be discussing three different congruence postulates, or three different similarity postulates. So the first one is one that we use for congruence. It's side, side, side. It's just a little different. It says that when all three sets of corresponding sides are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So what that means is, if I take a look at this picture here, I can see that I'm told that side AB over side DE is congruent to side BC over side EF is congruent to side A or is equal to side ACA over side FD. Okay? And because all three sets of sides are congruent, or not sorry, are not congruent, are proportional, then our triangles are similar. That will tell us then that our three angles, three sets of angles, are congruent to each other. If the three sets of sides are proportional, then the angles end up having to be congruent to each other, and therefore the triangles are similar. So this is kind of a repeat. All right, you can use this for congruence or for similarity. Okay, our second postulate we'll talk about, also a repeat, side, angle, side. So it says when two sets of corresponding sides are proportional and the angles between them are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So what we're saying is, we know that angle A is equal to angle D, and I know that AB over DE is equal to AC over DF. All right, so I've got two sets of proportional sides, and the angle that's between them, or the angles that are between them are congruent, therefore our triangles are similar. These two sides will have to be proportional, and these two sets of angles will have to be congruent. And our third and final congruence postulate is the one that's new, or not sorry, not congruence postulate, similarity postulate, is one that's new, and that is angle-angle similarity. An angle-angle is the easiest one, and it simply says that when two sets of corresponding angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. Because if we know that, for example, A, angle A is congruent to angle D, and angle B is congruent to angle E, then there's no choice but for angle C to be congruent to angle F. And therefore, our side lengths have to be proportional, no matter how big or small I make them, so these triangles are similar. So if I can show that two sets of angles are congruent, then it's very, very easy to show that the triangles are similar. So let's do two examples of this. So example one says, given that AB is parallel to DE, I want to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle EDC. So I want to show that this bigger triangle up here is congruent to this bigger triangle up here. So let's mark this up the same way we would when we were trying to prove that triangles were congruent. I'm told that AB is parallel to DE. So what do I know about my triangles if that's the, or my, what do I know here if that's the case? Well, I know that this angle, the angle at A, call it triangle B or angle BAC, is congruent to this angle down here, angle DEC, because they're alternate interior angles. Okay, that's using this given that we've got here. And then we also know that this angle here, angle BCA, is congruent to this angle here, angle DCE, because of vertical angles. Well, if I take a look at that, I've got two sets of, cor of corresponding angles that are congruent, so I can use angle, angle congruent or similarity, and that's all I need to do to prove this. So let's go ahead and do that. I can say, well, it's given to me that AB is parallel to DE. I know that B, A, 
C is congruent to angle DEC by alternate interior angles. I know that BCA is congruent to angle DCE by vertical angles. And therefore, my triangles are congruent by angle-angle similarity. That's all we have to do. It's a relatively easy four-step proof. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. Example two says, given that D is the midpoint of AB and E is the midpoint of AC, I want to prove that ABC is congruent, or sorry, is similar. So ABC is congruent, sorry, I keep saying that, similar to ADE. Okay, well, let's see how we can do this. If I know that these are midpoints, then I know that AD is congruent to DB and AE is congruent to EC. But that doesn't help me so much in this case because I'm not trying to prove they're congruent, I'm trying to prove they're similar. But one thing I do know is I know that AB is exactly twice as long as AD, right? Because it's the midpoint, then this side, this length is exactly half of this length. And I know that AE is exactly half of AC. So if I've got two sets of proportional sides here, all right? And the other thing I know is that this angle at A is in both DAE and BAC. It's the same angle, so I've got side, angle, side. So here's how this proof is going to end up looking. Okay, I state my given, D is the midpoint of AB and E is the midpoint of AC. Knowing that, I know that AD, this length, over AB, this length, is equal to half because AD is exactly half of AB, and that's just the definition of midpoint. Similarly, I can say that AE is exactly half of AC because of the midpoint. So AE over AC is equal to one half. And therefore, AD is e over AB is equal to AE over AC because of the transitive property. They both equal half, so they equal each other. So there I've shown I've got two sets of sides that are proportional. And then I know that angle DAE and angle BAC are congruent because of the reflexive property. They're the same angle. And therefore, my triangles are congruent because of side angle side sim I'm sorry, my triangles are similar because of side angle side similarity. So this is very, very, very similar to congruence. You simply figure out what pieces of information you have and then use those pieces of information to prove that the triangles are similar.